up it is me kb chronic uh coming to you live from a very destroyed lake charles louisiana um i'm gonna give it a little bit to get everything tuned in i, I was gonna take some time off from streaming because i figured you know i don't really have the power to do it um <clears throat> but luckily i was fortunate enough to have some internet and it is actually a member of our roster's birthday today. Uh, so it is the birthday of Miss Queen Jolene, our women's champion. Uh, pro maybe soon to be uh, one half of the tag team that won the women's tag team tournament. Uh, we're getting started a little bit late because it took a little while to get everything set up and get everything running correctly, make sure I had the fuel and everything like that. But every match on this card was chosen by your women's champion, Queen Jolene. Uh, so opening the match, we have Bad Bunny versus Carly Lynn. Uh, and then it, it's a co-main event. Be even though there's only three matches on the card, it's a co-main event because this is huge. This is huge right here. The second match, the first time ever in one-on-one -on -one competition... You have Shade, the Hokage of the Ainub Village, versus KB Chronic, the Raikage of the Ainub Village. Hokage versus Raikage. It has never happened before, but it's about to go down as soon as the first match is over. Um, I'm going to go ahead and commentate over it because, you know, it's all good. I don't really care what people think about me calling my own matches or anything like that. Uh... I'm really tired. I just I wanted to get this birthday episode out. Uh, if everybody could go ahead and blow up the comments, blow up the chat, give Queen Jolene her happy birthday wishes uh, because she has a match against Zenda. I'm not gonna call her Queen Zenda because I get chewed out every time that happens. So I'm just gonna pretend that Zenda don't have a title, so she can't be a queen. Um, anyways. That's our main event, our true main event of the evening. But I just I had to hype up Shade versus myself because it's never been done before. Uh, Devil Slayer is in the chat. You can see him down there. I kind of had to set it up different because I don't have a computer to run everything. But Devil Slayer is down there in the chat. This dude is actually seeing daylight right now because he's on the other side of the world. Um, so he's probably definitely hyped that he gets to be in here. But yeah, so with all that being said, we're going to get this bad boy underway. Like I said, don't forget to blow up Queen Jolene with all the birthday wishes. Um, it's, it's, it, it's fun to get to put all this together. If you're one of the ones affected by Hurricane Laura in any way, shape, or form, uh, just know we here at INCW, we feel your pain. Um, it's definitely messed some stuff up. We got to run things a little bit differently. But yeah, we know how you're feeling. Uh, if you need anything, um, reach out to us at the INU Project or INCW. Uh, I, I'm not going to sit there and say that we'll be boots on ground, but we can, we've can. we had enough resources thrown our direction to maybe uh, get y'all in touch with the right people. Uh, a lot of people need help right now, so... You know, just want to do a little bit of shout out. It's kind of rough living down here, but we live here. We expect these things to happen and we're going to make it through it. Also, for those of you who get to celebrate Labor Day, have an extra beer for all of Louisiana. Have Throw an extra chicken leg on the barbecue for Louisiana. Throw an extra steak on there. Whatever you do, do a little bit extra for Louisiana because we're going to have to skip this one. <laughs> Already got shade in the comments wondering why he's got to throw down with me. <laughs> All right, we got Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny making her way out to the ring right now. Man, we were at five, and now we're down to three. People done left. Probably thought we was going to be doing something cool. Probably thought it was going to be Shade Stream and turned it on, found out it was me with this terrible-ass mic. Um... This is just like the old days. Like we're, This is a throwback to season one right here. I got the chat on the screen over here. I got a shitty ass mic plugged into my head controller. This is going to be some good shit right here. All 
All right, here comes Carly Lim making her way down to the ring. Carly Lim made her debut uh, not last episode, but the episode episode before that. Um, and now she is undefeated in the women's tag tournament alongside her sister, Queen Jolene. And here they go. Oh, big rolling elbow right out the gate. Caught the leg and Bad Bunny with the dragon screw. Kick to the face. Bad Bunny going to show her what's going on around here in INCW. Man, it has been so... Oh, nice block. Oh, but the knee got her. And with the head scissors takeover goes Carly Lynn. Pulling on the arm. Trying to work that out right there. Bad Bunny hasn't had the greatest line of success uh, here in INCW since her two... Uh, her two mentors bounced out. But, I mean, there's always room for improvement. Look at our current world champion, or our current heavyweight champion. Oh, look at this. Bad Bunny with the 619 around the pole. Bad Bunny's to the top. Got some spring in her step. Oh, with the spiral tap. Carly Lynn looking like she's in trouble right now. Bad Bunny pulling her to the center of the ring. Goes for the pin here. Referee, one. No. Carly Lynn out at one. Kick to the back. Bad Bunny and Carly Lynn going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Deep arm drag by Bad Bunny. Sends Carly Lynn into the corner and a drop kick to the lower back. I apologize if it's a little louder than normal. I don't normally have a mic this close to my face. Got the slingshot, sending Bad Bunny or sending Carly to the center of the ring. Carly with the sweep of the leg, showing some veteran instincts right here. Must be learning from our women's champion. Goes for the pin and not even a one count. Gonna take a little bit more nap to take Bad Bunny down. Ooh, vicious right hand sends Bad Bunny into the corner and a monkey flip right back out. Oh, Bad Bunny with the kick. And a short Hurricane Rana spiking Carly Lynn right on top of her pigtails. Has her tied up here. Sends her into the corner. Bad Bunny sidesteps. Oh, and an elbow. And over the top rope. Bad Bunny with a shoulder tackle. Flip. Oh, into a powerbomb on the outside. Carly Lynn is in a world of hurt right now. Fireman's carry takeover. Big slap, Bad Bunny drop, oh, drop kick into the ring apron. Referee is at a count of three. Carly Lynn had the wherewithal to uh, avoid that little cartwheel right there. Kick to the mid touch. oh. Nice step over heel kick. Carly Lynn definitely, oh, with the belly to belly. Definitely not showing how much of a rookie she is in this match. Not not making too many mistakes. Oh, with the big... Oh, into the pin here. One, two... No, no. Bad Bunny rolls through. One, two, and rolls through again. One, two. Little back and forth action right there. The crowd is eating this alive. Bad Bunny over the top. Oh, with the elbow coming around again. Looking for that 6-4-9 around the pole. Bad Bunny ascending the ropes. And another spiral tap, but this time Carly telegraphed. It goes for the pin. Quick one. No, just a one count. Ref was a little slow on that. And a drop kick to the back of the head. Carly Lynn taking time to pander to her newly found fans. Might be looking to set something up here. Has Bad Bunny's arm trapped. And no, Bad Bunny firing back quick.
Bad Bunny. Oh no, we've seen we've seen the Queen Queen Jolene do this before. Bad Bunny taking a a page out of the playbook and the superplex to the outside. Bad Bunny could go for the pin right here. Just got to get her back in the ring. No, go for a hurricane run on the outside. Referee at a count of three. Stopped counting for whatever reason. And these two women are going back and forth. Carly Lynn back inside, but Bad Bunny made her pay for it. Oh, Carly Lynn. Oh, I thought she had the reversal, but got caught with the bulldog. Sit into the corner. Bad Bunny looking to finish this one off. No. Carly Lynn still has fight in her. Sit back into the ropes again. Oh, Bad Bunny's got her. Oh, with the Hurricane Runner. Bad Bunny going for a pin here. Has the pin. Oh, legs all on the ropes, too. No, not like this. Carly Lynn kicks out. Oh, double knee right to the face. Carly is in a world of hurt right here. She is in a bind. Oh, big back elbow and a belly to belly suplex. Once again, the women of INCW are giving it everything they got. Carly Lynn taking Bad Bunny to the center of the ring with the snapmare. Carly Lynn looking to finish it off here. Has a hold of her. Got the arm trap suplex. Pump handle suplex. Might be all she wrote for Bad Bunny. Goes for the pin here. One, two. Oh, just a two count. Carly Lynn raising her hand. Thinks she won the match. Bad Bunny sweeps the leg. Playing a little possum there. Kick to the small of the back. Oh, no. Bad Bunny has Carly up. Oh! With the attitude adjustment, rolls through with the fireman's K. Once again, and another attitude adjustment goes for the pin. Shades of the great big time sexy. Oh! Carly Lynn kicked out it. Bad Baby is in convulsions. Oh, what do we got here? Bad Bunny! What is this? Oh! With a double foot stomp right to the chest of Carly Lynn. Carly sent into the corner. Bad Bunny put her back on the top rope. This might be... Oh, no! Carly fought off of it. And Bad Bunny sent it right back in, but Carly reversed. Carly living up to the family name. Got the arms trapped, trying to extend. Might be looking for that submission here. Will Bad Bunny tap? Collar and elbow tie up and broke apart. Stalemate. Big scoop slam by Bad Bunny, but that took all she had. Oh, kick to the top of the dome. Oh, went for the basement drop kick. Bad Bunny says no, no, no. And a head scissors takeover. Bad Bunny has spent everything she has draped over barely for the pin. One, two, no. Carly powers out of it. I don't know how she has it. We are 10 minutes into this match, and Carly moves out of the way. Oh, big right hand. These women are throwing down. Big, or Bad Bunny missed that super kick. Poorly timed. And sends, her, sends Carly Lynn right outside the ring. Bad Bunny on the top rope. Might be looking for a suicide dive. Oh! 
and Cole moved. Referee is in a count of one. Carly's willing to take the count out victory. Will Bad Bunny be able to answer the 10 count? Referee is at a count of three. Bad Bunny's back to her feet, gets back in the ring at the count of four. Oh, kick to the midsection. Bad Bunny has the strength. Check it, no. And stacks her up for the pin. One, two, no. Carly kicked out. Carly kicked out, it's not over. Carly with the reversal has the pump handle locked in again and the suplex dragging Bad Bunny to the ring goes for the pin one two three Carly win picks up the victory hell of a contest by both women involved living up to the INCW women's division holy shit hell of a match by both women that was some super awesome fucking match right there I that don't even make any sense but that's what it was if there was ever a time for the chat to break out in a this is awesome chant it was for that match Carly Lynn a rookie Undefeated here in INCW, absolutely 100% living up to her family gene pool. Queen Jolene better watch it. That might be the next women's champion right there. All right, next up we have a match that people are going to criticize me for calling, but it had to happen. This entire card, as I said at the beginning, was set up by Queen Jolene because it is for Queen Jolene's birthday. PWA does this for their members. I'm going to start doing it for my members, uh, or for my viewers, rather. Uh, yeah, we're just going to start knocking this shit out. Birthday streams all the time, as long as it's viable as far as, like, you know, what time of day it is and if I got power. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. This is one of the matches that's been requested multiple times, and myself and Shade both turned it down. But when it comes to a birthday, we have to make exceptions to the rule. So, the Raikage, which is me, versus the Hokage, which is Shade, one on one, this match might blow the roof off the arena. We haven't fought because we don't know what would happen if we did. And we're all about to find out. Maybe this will turn 2020 around. Maybe the the cataclysmic like destruction that comes from the two individuals in this match. And maybe this is the pool that the universe needs to turn 2020 around. Queen Jolene pandering in the chat saying that myself and Shade are her favorite members of the roster. I'm sure Info Warriors sitting in the back has something to say about that. Shade getting hyped up for this match that's about to go down. Rocking his eye noob headband. I was gonna try to find me a Raikage headband or or do me and make me an iNoob headband, but I decided against it. Got the trim down beard. Devil Slayer said it best. No one is ready for this match. <clears throat> For those of y'all who don't know, I have been putting myself 
on, I'm not going to say some strict fad diet or anything like that, but I've been watching what I've been eating, prepping for apparently survival mode, apparently for a match against the Hokage. I've been prepping for this for the past five months. My COVID body is strong. I am at peak potential. I am ready to go for whatever title I can go for. Also, while we're at it, I want to give a shout out to Patrick. Been working them long hours. A shout out to SB Marvel. Been working those even longer hours. I know he's not represented here in INCW, but we'll fix that. Oh, and Shane bounced right off of KB out the gate. KB going for that big boot. Has Shane in the waistline. Oh, manhandling Shane. Everyone knew that this was going to happen. Everyone knew that. Oh, Shane showing some strength with the side headlock. Shade, one of the longest reigning hardcore champions in INCW next to the great Jimmy Teller. Oh, and KB shoving Shade back. Oh, stepped through his face. <laughs> Did not see that coming. Shade with a forearm shot. <laughs> oh, kick to the midsection. Oh, and then again, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Drops the elbow. <laughs> Shade trying again. Oh, double heel kicks, but KB's on his feet, and KB shoves him away like a fly. <laughs> Shade has not fought someone with a size difference like this since he went one-on-one -on -one with Average Joe. KB off the ropes. Shade takes the low bridge, takes the high. Oh, went for the drop kick, and KB telegraphed it. It's all those years. Oh, and a big Uranagi. Oh, full mount position with the hammer fist. <laughs> No one was ready for this. No love lost between these two. I need everyone to know that there is not a civil war in the Ainu project, but war is war. A match is a match. We have to bring out all... We're not going to hold back. And a kick to the gut. Oh, Shade keeps trying for that flying elbow and getting shoved away. Kick to the midsection. Oh, my God. Airplane spin by the neck. <laughs> Anyone who's been around KB, whenever KB Wyatt is released, knows what that's like. Got the... Oh! Just dropping shade on his face. Double leg takedown. Goes for the kick again and again. Shade has the advantage here. Oh, double leg takedown again and with some hammer fists. Shade and KB. Hokage versus Raikage. And Shade's up. Oh, into the contact high. Goes for the pin here. One, two, no. KB is beside himself. He's setting him up. Shades up. Has Shade into the vertical suplex position. Oh, Shade flips out the back door, avoiding the heathen bomb. Shade firing off all those shots, deciding to keep both. How is he able to pick KB up like that? KB has lost too much weight. That's what it is. Shade. Oh, no. Shade's going to go coast to coast on him. Coast to coast from the Hokage. Hokage is airborne! Drop kick to the right Kage's face. These two men are going wild. Shade with the fast high impact. KB with the strong high impact. One, two, no! KB rolls his shoulder up. Shade. Has KB back to a vertical base. Sends him into the ropes. And does a splash off the back. KB, the veteran instincts, wisely rolling outside the ring. Kick to the midsection. Shade firing back with the right hand. Oh! Thrust kick to the gut. Oh, and a sling blade on the outside. Shade getting fired up now. 
Shane feels like he's got this under control. KB slid back into the ring. Referee was at a count of five, but everybody's back in. Shane, oh! With that DDT, KB is laid out. Shane's going to pull him away from the ropes. Goes for the pin here. One, two, no. KB gets the shoulder back up again. Shade is the one beside himself now. Shade, kick to the back. Oh, forearm shot. Collar double tie up and KB shoves Shade back to his back to his ass. Has him up for another Uranagi. Goes for a pin here. One, two, no. Shade kicks out. It's going to take a lot more to take out the Hokage. He's getting fired up. Got the... No, and they fight free. Kick to the midsection. And a jawbreaker for the Hokage. Or from the Hokage. Springboard to the outside. Goes to the top rope. What could he be looking for here? 450 catches nothing but knees. Caught all of the knees on his way down. KB sends him into the ropes. And Shade fights his way out. Oh! Big elbow. KB has a big scoop slam. Scoop slam, dead center of the ring. KB doing what he hates most and panders to the crowd. What is KB looking for here? Oh, no. With the... Oh! Dead lift, powerbomb, dead center of the ring. Gave Shade too much time. Shade... Caught him with the... Oh, what's it called? Oh! Shade hurt his foot on that kick. KB did not. And got a hold of that muscle. Got the claw locked in tight. Shade fights free. Fights free. Sweeps the leg. Been watching a lot of Cobra Kai here lately. Oh! And the flashback. Shade! Oh! With that jumping DDT again. That's probably all she wrote, folks. We got the cover. One, two. Oh, no. KB kicks out again. What is it going to take for one of these two to destroy the other? Shade. Oh, what's he looking for? Oh, looking for that DDT again. KB has him up. Oh, Ushi Garoshi. Ushi Garoshi hit. Catching him with another contact high by KB Chronic. KB goes for the pin here. One, two, go! Oh, Shade kicked out at two. KB has Shade back up to a vertical base. Sends him into the ropes. What is he thinking here? What does he have planned? Oh no. No, he's done this before. He's pulling out all the stops. Avalanche powerbomb. Avalanche powerbomb by the Rakage. Oh, my God. One, two. No, Shane kicked out. Shane kicked out. How did he kick out of that? It's taking everything these two have. Deep arm drag. Shane with a short DDT again. Trying to steal that victory. Trying to get that win. Shane throwing a bunch of bombs. KB sitting into the corner. Big right hand. Oh my God. Oh, KB with the reversal. Going after the farm. Shane with the reversal. Shane with the farms connects. Hokage sends Rakage into the post. Has him down again. Shane with the double knees. Wrecking ball drop kick in the chest. This is awesome. Oh my God. Goes for the pin here. Referee taking his time. One. Two. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is a great match. Got the jumping DDT for a third time. Has the leg, but Rakage. KB is still awake. Went for a clothesline. Oh, Shane. Oh, catching the elbow. 
Has him. Oh, oh, with that brain buster. Straight jacket brain buster to the Hokage. And again, another contact high. Another contact high. KB is catching his breath. KB is catching his breath right now. Goes for the pin. One, two, oh, Shane kicked out. I'm not even surprised anymore. I expect this match to go on all night. KB setting up for it. Will he be able to hit the heathen bomb right here? He has straight up and heathen bomb with the pin. One, two, three. KB Chronic is your winner. Oh, what a hard fought fucking victory that was. I feel like I was in the match. Oh, wait, I was. Oh. Oh, my God. The, and the sheer raw awesomeness of that match. Holy shit. Look, oh, all the contact ties. All of them. Oh, my God. I can't breathe. KB standing tall in his ring as I should. On to the main event. I don't... I don't know if it's going to live up to the last two matches we just saw. Oh, my God. I hope everybody's enjoying the match so far. Uh, I know we've only got five viewers, but five viewers at 9 o'clock at night Central Time, that's that's real fucking good. I appreciate all the support. Um, I really kind of needed... Not only is this a birthday gift, but I kind of needed something to get me back to some level of normalcy. Um... You know, just try to keep things level-headed. God dang, I broke a sweat up in here. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I needed I needed this. I enjoyed putting it together for Jolene's birthday. Queen Jolene's birthday. 19 with 10 years experience. I don't know if she wanted me to throw that out there, but you know. Alrighty. Alrighty. <laughs> I definitely missed doing this on Sundays. Queen Zinda bringing her, or I'm sorry, just Zinda, bringing her money in the bank briefcase with her. She can cash that in at any point in time. She could probably cash that in tonight if she so chooses. Zenda in her Nightmare Kingdom attire. <clears throat> All right, and now we have the women's champion, Queen Jolene. The strap is where it has always needed to be. Carbon fiber and all. <laughs> Queen Jolene making her way down here, enjoying her birthday fans. Get this show on the road here. And here we go. Zinda out the gate with the head scissors. Oh, it's not looking good. 
Oh, with the sweep of the leg. It is not looking good at all. Oh. Queen Jolene went to double knees and missed. Collar and elbow tie up and stalemate. Oh, with the cross body block. And the basement drop kick. We saw Carly use that earlier. Kick to the midsection. Queen Jolene has it with the suplex. Punch to the midsection. Queen Jolene again with the basement drop kick after a forearm shot. Raising her arm to Zenda, telling her, hey, come get you some. Zenda wisely rolling outside, getting away from trouble for a little bit. And takes advantage. Russian leg sweep. Kick to the back. Kick to the back of Queen Jolene again. Queen Jolene breaks free and a clothesline to the outside. If you remember the last time we saw Zenda in a Zenda in the same ring as Queen Jolene, uh, Zenda was actually attacking Queen Jolene along with the assistance of Lady Lightning. Jolene getting her fucking head punched in. Good lord, that was vicious. And again, Zenda is not having it here. Jolene needs to pull it together. Zenda, like a house of fire. Has it tied up. Oh my goodness. And the double knees to the back. Jolene with the jawbreaker, creating some space. And Zenda breaking free again. Big shot. <clears throat> Queen Jolene on the outside. Back in the ring they go. Oh, with the handful of hair right there. Ref didn't call it, so I'm not going to. Zenda at the on the top rope and goes for the splash on Queen Jolene. Got the splash. One. No, just a one count queen. It's going to take a little bit more than that to take down the queen. Has the arms trapped behind her. Queen Jolene is in some trouble right here, but we saw Carly Lynn was in trouble earlier. And Queen Jolene managed to... Or Carly ended up pulling out a damn good victory tonight. Oh, with the sweep. Wow, the disrespect. The disrespect by Zenda. Queen Jolene has a hold of her. Ooh, pulling on the back. Had Zenda all tied up. Ooh, with a big slap. And the double leg sweep rolls through into that armbar figure four like submission right here. Jolene is in the middle of the ring. She's got to break free. Somehow she rolls out. Oh, with a big form shot and a booty bounce. Jolene sending Zenda into the corner. The queen with the kick to the midsection. Clam slam. Avalanche clam slam by the queen. Gonna go for the pin right here. One, two, three. Queen Jolene is your winner. Jolene had Queen Jolene I apologize had had enough of that nonsense and Avalanche clam slammed her way to victory congratulations to the Queen just a quick sequence of a booty bounce and then an Avalanche clam slam
All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Once again, everyone wish your queen, your your queen, your women's champion, Queen Jolene, it's her birthday. Wish her a happy birthday. Hopefully everybody's doing all right still. Uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed the show. We got up to like seven viewers at one point. Uh, I appreciate y'all putting this on a television where Shade's at so everybody that isn't actually tuned into Twitch can watch it. That's really cool. Got to grow the audience somehow. And I really appreciate that everybody enjoyed the Clam Slam. Um, but yeah, so with all that being said, I'm KB Chronic. I'm going to get back to the dark area next to the AC unit and cool down after all three of these badass matches. Uh, until next time, until we have actual power and we can get back on a regular schedule, anything, y'all have a good one.